one nil to Bryson there, that's straight down the middle. The longest length of shaft you can have as a golfer and your driver is 48 inches long. And we're seeing a lot of tall players now switch into the longer driver, all because of Bryson DeChambeau experimenting on how far he can hit it. I've currently done it as well, and you might have seen that video. video. I've got a 47 inch driver, but is that gonna be right for everyone? I've got three shafts here today, all the same flex, all the same shaft, but I've got one that's 43 inches, one that's 45, and one that is 47. And we're gonna do a little test just to find out whether golfers would be better going longer shaft, or actually, are they better off going shorter shaft? And the parameter I'm gonna be judging this on is how many times we get the ball on the fairway. Because a lot of people come to me for lessons and they don't say, Matt, I'm not hitting it far enough. The general complaint is that I'm sick of hitting it in the trees, out of bounds, into water hazards, losing balls off the tee, and I just wanna get it in play. So is going slightly shorter gonna give us a little bit more control because we would see average tour length is 44 and a half inches. Let's do this little test. We're gonna hit four balls with each shaft. We're gonna use my GC2. I'm actually gonna do it on the fifth hole or the sixth hole at Carnoustie, Hogan's Alley, great par five. We're gonna fire down there and see how many each ball gets, each shaft gets on the fairway. Also, see what the distance is from back to front as well. Will dropping down in length see a dramatic drop in distance as well. So let's get stuck into this test. So each shaft that we're using is gonna be the Project X Hazardous Smoke IM10 shaft, all in a stiff flex. And like I say, we've got 43, 45, and 47. The head I'm gonna be using is the head that I've been using, the Callaway Epic Speed, and I'm gonna have that set in nine and a half on each one. So it's only the, lot, um, the length of each shaft that is altering. So we'll pop this in here. Beauty of changeable drivers nowadays, give that a quick test up and what we're going to do we're going to start in the middle the average length one the 45 one and see where we go with this one and would this be probably the better better option one of the things that's interesting average length on sale in a shop is 45 and a half tall length is 44 and a half because they're trying to get it in the fairway a little bit more for more control but then we're seeing this big jump so 45 four balls on the gc2 let's see how we go Ball two. The left. Right, we've got one down the fairway. Dear. Okay, so that is four balls with the medium length shaft, the 45 inch one. I got one out of four on the fairway there. Two of them pitched in the fairway and just ran off, so they weren't that bad um, in terms of dispersion. But will we find in now that when we go to the longer one, we see some results or do we start to get more erratic? And then when we go into the shorter one, we end up getting a little bit more control on it. Let's go the long shaft, see how we get on. So long shaft now, again, set at nine and a half degrees, same head, just an extra two inches from what we were using then. Interesting, the longest, well, average carry then of the, uh, the medium is 268. I didn't hit them the best and I am using range balls but I've been finding that when I've used the longer shaft in mine, it's been 295, so quite a bit of a drop off in distance. Let's see if that shows that now, and if we can get a few more fairways, could this all be the answer? Could Bryson have it completely right, or has he got it all wrong? Just seems to come off so much better, so much quicker. Well, Bryson, uh, one nil to Bryson there, that's straight down the middle. And it's a heck of a lot longer. <laughs> a 
Oh. So we're going to go on to the short shaft now, the 43 inch. You just look at the difference in that. This is going to feel odd. Now what's interesting there is I just hit four out of four fairways and the carry distance was only, it was actually down a yard, which I would say isn't really comparable. Like range balls, is that making a difference? But I didn't strike them anywhere near as well, which is what I found. And obviously I've been using a long driver shaft now for about a month. So I've got used to it. So even going back to the, uh, the standard one felt a little bit strange in my hand. So I would imagine this is gonna feel a little bit odd. Now doing this test again, potentially with other people who haven't had the experience or got used to a shorter or longer shaft might prove a little bit more comprehensive and obviously we're only hitting four balls with each so we've got those things to, to add in but what I will say the longer one on my miss hits which I hit one there that was a lot better and it's gone 280 carry um, but the rest of them were hovering more around the bottom of the club and a little bit healy but I was seeing it going similar distance or very very close to the middle um, shaft the 45 and when I hit that a little bit more centered I think for a less experienced golfer they would probably really struggle to find that middle of the shaft so this is where the shorter shaft might come into its own you might find that you get better ball speeds because you're middling it more because you're getting that um, control from the shorter shaft but that being said god even having that in my hand looks like a child's driver that is like, it's miniature. Let's see, let's see what we can do with it. Came out like a bullet. Missing left. Ooh, that's unfortunate. That's swing error more than anything. Guys, comment down below as well. Have you experimented with shaft length yet? Have you been swayed by the likes of Bryson to go and get a longer driver shaft? Or have you experimented with a shorter one, been recommended that it might help you hit the middle a little, little bit more? Comment down below and let me let me know. Shot two with the, uh, the short one. Let's go. Well, we've got a fairway. It was a low bullet. Whee. Yep. So that is two out of four with the short driver. Let's take a look at the results and see what they're saying. So very interesting results there, I would say. And like I said, we've got the, the human error we've got to take into account. Where am I hitting that golf ball on that golf face? I definitely found with that shorter one, because I've been used to something now that's four inches longer, even my setup, I knew I had to stand closer to it, but getting that close to a driver just subconsciously made me feel very awkward. So the strikes were nowhere near as good. I was finding I was getting a lot of toes because I was moving back, going back to where I wanted to be with my longer driver. So we've got to take that into account. Also, we've got to take into account that I've been using a longer driver now for, I think it is four to six weeks. And what I have found is that I've generally been straighter with it. And the results even here now are showing it. I'm nine yards, I think it is, offline. Uh, to the right hand side with the longer one then it was 21 yards offline with the shorter one versus 26 with the middle so it was actually the middle one was the worst one the shorter one I got better I generally I hit two out of four fairways with that 
the middle one I hit one out of four fairways and then the longer one I hit four out of four. Is that to do with my, um, like I say, my time spent with that shaft already? So an interesting test and one that I think if, you know, you, you guys want it, I should maybe do with some people a bit of blind testing as it were, get them to hit some shots. So comment down below if you want to see that. But really, I think the, the takeaway from the, the video and the lesson that I would want to say is that if, if you're of a, a higher handicapper or just getting into it, I would say that that longer one is gonna be harder to hit out of the center. It takes a little bit of time and awareness to actually find that middle. The shorter one, albeit I didn't quite get it, I didn't see as much erraticness with it, even with it being a little bit more misstruck. So potentially the shorter one would keep you in play a little bit more and not be as punishing as maybe something as we go a little bit longer and it's not all about that distance because we saw as well that the distance wasn't that dramatically different i have noticed i am generally longer than what we've seen there with the longer one but an interesting test i think and uh one that i didn't expect um the middle one and the short one to perform like that i was expecting it would be maybe four with the short one two with the long one and maybe two with the middle one but there we have it, the proof is in the pudding. So has Bryson got it right? I think for himself and maybe other players, yes. Has it, uh, it could it help you? Potentially. But like I say, it's all down to the individual. So go and try each one, maybe see what works for you. Guys, hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, hit that like button down for me, smash the subscribe, and I'll see you in your next golf lesson.